So I've been inspired to do this video, um, and that is to talk about the bootleg situation, the bootleg debate, the bootleg argument, if you will. So let's get into it. Okay, so welcome back to the channel everyone, and yes, this debate here is a debate that rages on, it's a debate that's, that's not going to go away, and I've been inspired to do this because the American Channel Films at Home, which is a great channel, I'll leave a link to this particular video that he's done in the description below, but he's done a video on bootlegs and why he doesn't buy bootlegs, why he doesn't support bootlegs, and I totally understand um, and, and I totally respect that decision and his argument. That being said, there is a counter argument. Now, Films at Home is a massive big channel in America. I am subscribed, I do watch it, I do comment from time to time, but he gives a lot of fantastic information on releases, on picture quality, on sound, everything like that. It's a brilliant channel. Do check out the video down below and go and subscribe to him if, you, if you're unaware of him, but I'm pretty sure that me being a tiny channel, him being a massive channel, you'll know who he is anyway. So. Let's get that out of the way. So he put out this video um, and why he doesn't support bootlegs, why he wouldn't support bootlegs, etc., etc. Um, part of that argument is is the fact that he feels he needs to support the filmmakers, the, 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 you know, which I completely understand. Um, so he will buy something f on, on digital and then on physical later down the line. Um, now, I won't do that. I won't buy digital. I've never, ever, ever bought a digital copy of a film. I won't. I just won't. I want physical media 100%. Um, the fact that, you know, the argument is made that physical has already won this battle and that's the way forward and it's here. Um, I, I, I don't care. The minute that physical dies, I still I'm not going to buy digital. I won't buy digital. Food. I won't buy something that isn't tangible, something that can be messed with, something that can be taken away from me. I just won't do it. I won't support it. So it's physical media or nothing where I'm concerned. Um, so I am a subscriber to Disney Plus. I have been from day one. That's not going to change. Um, I use it. Um, other people in my family use it and watch it. So that's not going to go away. Um, but I do pick up certain titles. I do pick up all the Star Wars stuff on bootleg. I pick up specific films. This isn't a 4K. I just put it in a 4K box because the black looked better rather than the blue. Um, the Marvel stuff, I do get all of those. Now, if this stuff gets a physical release, if there is a turnaround from Marvel, like there are sort of rumours and hints about, then I have every intention of replacing this stuff. Um, absolutely I will. I mean, I can counter-argue that. I was sent this Babylon um, on bootleg some time ago from someone. Um, you know, fantastic. The copy is second to none. I can't argue with that or anything like that. It's really good. But I won't keep that because I bought the still book of the film. Yes, that came out and I bought it. Um, also, another one that I, I, I replaced. I got Chucky season one on bootleg because I wasn't sure if it was coming out or not. Um, and I just dived in. I said, you know, I thought, OK, I'll get that on bootleg in case it doesn't come out. because I love the Chucky franchise, but I didn't only buy it once. I bought it twice. Because this had two releases, or three releases here in the UK. We got it like this, with an Amore inside. Um, with booklet and art cards and all things like that, with a lenticular slip. And then we had the release of a still book. And I got the still book to replace the Amore in here. So, part of the argument that was made is that if you buy bootlegs, you're not supporting... The, the creators of the film. 
Um, your money's not going towards them. Your money's just sort of vanishing. The companies don't know how many bootlegs have been purchased out there and all this sort of a thing. Um, I completely understand that. But if, I, if a film gets released, a new film, and I don't want to buy it on day one, I want to wait for a price drop, and then I go into a store like CEX, which here in the UK is a trading store. I'm um, sure in the US you have the equivalent, that sort of a thing. And then I buy the film from there. That money isn't going to the studio. It's not going to the creators of the film. It's going into the pocket of that store. So isn't that essentially the same? Now, I know there's a moral argument to be made, right? Um, and morally... <sighs> I'll be honest, I really don't care. I really don't care. Um, I'm at a point in my life where, you know, my morals are slipping to a degree, you know, and, and who gives a toss? I don't owe these studios anything. I mean, I, I watch Disney. I watch all the Marvel stuff. I watch the Star Wars stuff on Disney the day it airs, and then I want it in physical copy. I want Disney don't give me the option to go out and buy that physical copy. So I'm going to source that physical copy somehow else. Right? Now the days of funding terrorism is over. I'm not funding terrorism with this when I buy it off of someone. No, I'm funding John to go down the pub and have a pint. That's what I'm doing. Um and it's so easy to do. Everyone can do it. I can't do it because I'm, you know, the age I'm at, I'm not that technologically sound that I can, you know, burn a Blu-ray copy to a disc. I, you know, create all the, print the art. I, I can't do it. I'm just that inept at it that I have to pay someone else to do it for me. End of the day, right? Um, so, what am I supporting? Am I taking away? Yes, I, I probably am. No. Am I taking away from the studios? No, I'm not. I don't believe I am because I've paid to watch. The majority of my stuff that I get does come from Disney. Um, I will say that. It's the Marvel. It's the, um, it's the Marvel. It's the Star Wars stuff. A few Disney films thrown in. Prey. Togo. Fantastic film that hit Disney Plus in Disney uh, Plus's baby years when it first came about. It's never got a release. I doubt it ever will. Um, but I want a physical copy of it. I want a physical copy of it. Now, going back, there's historic stuff that I have I have got physical um, um, bootleg copies of. Um, Gargoyles, a TV series. That's available on Disney+. Plus. I pay for Disney+. Plus. I source it another way. You give me it on physical, on original physical... And I will go out and buy it. This has become such a niche group of individuals now, us as a physical media, that if you're willing, if you're if you're a collector like me, I mean, I've got what you can see behind me is is a small amount of of physical media that I have. It is um, it spans the rest of this room all the way around, in front of me, behind the camera, around the walls. There, um, I've got a wealth of it, all paid for, all bought. Um, all original, yeah, the, the, the bootleg side of it is, is minimal in the collection. Obviously, it is growing a little bit bigger every time something doesn't get released, and I want it. I want it. There's also older, older films, older stuff that has never been given a physical media release um, that, that I have sourced on bootleg. Um, TV show called Jeremiah. Um, from J. Michael Trzynski. Now this show here, it had its season one released in region one, DVD format. I did get it. Region season two never got a release. It never did, it never will. I sourced that so that I've got it because I really enjoyed that show at the time. Um, and there are other titles kicking around. I mean, uh, the, the most annoying thing is is when a, a product or a company, they, they, they release something. Homeland, the TV series, they released every season of it on Blu-ray. I got them all, but then not the last season. So what am I to do then? How do I complete that series? I have to opt for a, a bootleg copy. Case in point. I'll show you. As you can see, I have here every season of Homeland um, on Blu-ray. 
every season, bar the last. Season 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Season 8. They released all of these on DVD, on Blu-ray, and no Season 8, which is a kick in the teeth. So the only way I could get it would be on a bootleg copy. And the picture quality is fine. It is fantastic. It's not an issue, the picture quality. Um, so that's the only way I could complete this set of TV series. Another one, and this is one that I jumped the gun on, and that is for Tulsa King. Now, I did get a bootleg of this, because I loved the show. As soon as it finished, I was like, I want a bootleg of that, I need to get it. Um, I jumped the gun, because I should have thought about it, knowing it was on Paramount, and how Paramount released Star Trek. I do get all the Star Treks on original, on Steelbook. Um, I should have waited, I shouldn't have bought this, because I knew deep down, I knew that it was going to get a release, had I actually thought about it. And now that release has been announced. Um, it hasn't been announced here in the UK yet, it has in the US, but we'll follow suit. Um, and that there, you will see that when that gets a release, especially a still book, then I will get it and I will do an opening of it. That's one that will be replaced. See what I mean? So I will replace, and I think that as, as consumers, as as lovers of physical media, that we are in a position where if we did buy a bootleg, we would replace it with an original if that original came out because it's such a niche collector's, collector's market now that that's the way we feel, right? Because we're what's left, the, the, you know, the ones that are dedicated to the cause of physical media, we would replace. Um, your standard bloke on the street wouldn't. I totally agree with that. He wouldn't. But, you know, me supporting physical, um, or I should say that, sorry, me supporting um, download, streaming, or anything like that, if I buy a digital copy of something, what I'm doing is I, I am just digging the grave deeper for physical media. Now, there's an argument that, you know, if enough people turn to... Um, bootleg copies, say the Marvel stuff, the Star Wars stuff, and I'm sure that they sell massive on bootleg, that Disney should turn around and say, wait, one day might say, actually, there's a market there for this. Let's retake that market. Let's release this stuff on physical media and, 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 and take that market back. Let's do it. You know, you put out still books for that Star Wars stuff. You put out still books for the MCU TV stuff. They're gonna sell, they will sell. The collectors will buy them. Um, so as a counter argument, I, I have no issue getting bootleg stuff. Um, I don't sell it, I don't make any money from it. I don't, you know, no one borrows my collection of stuff because it's, it's, it's available to stream. It's just sitting, it sits on my shelf and it completes a hole in the collection. Um, and like I said, the copies are, are, are pretty damn good. I've got no issue with the picture, with the sound. Um, yeah, I've got no concern or no, I have no issue picking up a bootleg of something. But I know that I will replace it down the line if that opportunity arises. And I say if. If it doesn't, it's on my shelf. It can't be taken away from me like it can if I bought it on um, digital or be altered because sometime down the line there's there's some content in it that's now deemed offensive. So let's take that out. Let's, let's alter that. We've seen it happening. We've seen it happen with things like, you know, Lilo and Stitch. Disney have done that. The washing machine. We've seen changes in films. And they can do that the minute that you digitally buy it. It can be swapped out for something else. They have that control. I want what's originally given to us. Anyway, just a little counter-argument to that video. That video kind of inspired me from films at home. Um... Thanks to Matt over at Matt V's Movies who pointed me towards that video. Otherwise, I would have I would have caught it anyway, but he, he sent me it this morning. Um, but go and, go and support Films at Home, obviously. He's, he's a fantastic channel, fantastic guy. Um, you know, he does give some great information in his, his video, second to none. Um, and, and that's it. It's me done. 
And I'll see you on the next one. Take care all and goodbye.